Today, a major political test in the aftermath of the overturning of Roe versus Wade. Kansas voters will decide whether to keep abortion protected in their state constitution. Right now, abortion is protected by that constitution, but it could be coming to an end. New Zealand National Political Correspondent Stephanie Liebergen joins us live from Olathe, Kansas with more. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, ladies, good morning. Well, the constitutional amendment on the ballot today, arguably one of the more important things and definitely something that is getting voters to turn out today to the polls. So it's a yes, no vote that voters are taking today alongside all, you know, the governor, U.S. Senate, you know, state races and other things like that. So a yes vote today means that there is no constitutionally protected right to an abortion in the state of Kansas it would effectively give the state legislature the power to further restrict abortion and potentially ban abortion statewide. A no vote today means maintaining the status quo and to make sure that the, there is still a right to an abortion um, and that the current law in Kansas would remain. Currently, abortions are allowed up until about 22 weeks um, and then a few exceptions beyond that for later in the pregnancy. This issue, this constitutional amendment, is definitely a motivating um, factor for a lot of voters that I talked to out here this morning. Of course, this is a primary election. It is a presidential off year. Um, so typically, voter turnout is pretty low, but a lot of voters saying this constitutional amendment constitutional amendment is exactly why they are showing up to vote and to participate today. I talked to a father and daughter who both showed up today and told me they are both voting no on the constitutional amendment. And here's why. What motivated you to come out today, Erica? It's a very important topic for me uh, because of just the issue of women's rights and the autonomy that women have over their over their bodies. Um, I don't think it's something that the government should be involved in per se. So um, it's just important for me to come and, you know, express my opinion on that. Erica's father, Steve, echoed the same thing, saying that he was also voting no today. Um, no voters definitely outweighing the yes voters of those who I've talked to individually and personally here. But that's not really surprising. Olathe is in Johnson County, Kansas. It's a bit of a liberal area of the state. The statewide, Kansas is, of course, traditionally very conservative, but not so much here in the Kansas City suburbs, actually my hometown. Um, so not surprising we're getting more no voters here, but we'll have to wait and see until the results come in to see if the more liberal leaning areas in the Kansas City suburbs if those end up outweighing the you know western parts of the state that definitely traditionally lean very conservative. And Stephanie, it is really interesting just the language, yes and no, and it can get a little bit confusing. So I'm glad we had that full screen up that said which is which, because uh, I imagine that can maybe cause some problems with some voters that maybe not be too sure what that means. Stephanie Liebergen uh, reporting from Kansas for us live. Thanks, Stephanie.